What up guys, it's your boy, ABC Delicious. I'm back yet again with another video. Sorry, I've been kind of on hiatus for a while. So hopefully I had to get my stuff straightened and in order and I'm gonna try to do my best to try to keep these going on a consistent basis. And I do definitely have some different ideas that I'll be unveiling in the upcoming months. So I hope you guys enjoy that. So basically the video today, I saw a DC animated film called Justice League versus the Fatal Five. It's interesting because I might have mentioned this in my other video. I feel like where Marvel does no wrong in the movie business, Avengers, Thor, Spider-Man, Iron Man, etc. In DC, with the exception of Aquaman, which I thoroughly enjoy, which you can check out in my previous video that I did a review on, and Wonder Woman, they don't do too well as far as kind of establishing their own cinematic universe, I'd say. But in the, in the cartoon world, it's the complete opposite. Like I haven't watched any, or it's been a while since I watched any Marvel animated films and it seems like DC is killing it with the animation. I still have to watch Young Justice, which I'm glad that Netflix or whoever brought back and overall I usually do enjoy DC movies. I do feel that DC has a tendency to kind of only focus on Batman and also I guess Superman and there's definitely some other more underrated characters that they could focus on but I get it. Batman is edgy, he's cool, he sells so that's the one that they're always going to want to market. But anyway, going back to the movie, so again, it's called Justice League versus Fatal Five. I'm going to do my best not to have any spoilers in this review. So basically, the basic premise is there's these bad guys, the Fatal Five, obviously, which, to be quite honest, even though I count myself as a comic book aficionado or nerd, I know you guys are going to find this hard to believe. I wasn't exactly slaying it with the girls back in junior high school or high school. So I kind of focused in an imaginary world known as comics. Or as my family would like to say, I still do that to this day. But that is neither here nor there. Anyway, so the Fatal Five are a bunch of bad guys, which again, I'm not that familiar with. Usually you're thinking of the Legion of Doom or various other ones. So these guys are comprised of, forgive me if I mispronounce their name, so if I do, you guys can comment down below. I believe it's Therak or Therak, Persuader, and is it Mon, I guess? And then also in the movie is, ooh, hopefully I don't mess this up, Emerald Empress? Yeah, again, I'm not really familiar with these guys, but it's pretty interesting because you have a film that focuses on some different bad guys, so it's interesting you gotta check them out, check out their motivations, what they're about, how they, how they kind of match up against the Justice League. So, anyway, these guys are in the future. So they are doing battle against, I, I believe it's the Legion of Superheroes, which are kind of, if you wanna, if you wanna really nerd it back up, if you wanna do like the evolution of superheroes, they're kind of the descendants of the Justice League, who are, by this time, I think it's like the 31st century, are kind of sands in the hourglass and kind of notes of a bygone era, but still, role models and looked upon, but long gone. But anyway, they need to try to get to the past, and I'm not gonna ruin too much, but they do. Otherwise, how are they gonna encounter the Justice League, right? And it's pretty interesting. One of the guys from the Legion of Superheroes, I'm not gonna tell you which one, ends up uh, going back in time with the bad guys. And of course, just to make the plot moves forward, uh, what's interesting about this movie is Batman does all the work, or he's really important, or Superman. I always wondered, because I feel like in this film they kind of depowered Superman a little bit, because otherwise if you don't, Superman can do everything in like 30 seconds, like what's the point? But, and it was also interesting because they focus, they don't really focus on the Justice League too much, I mean they're part of it, but the movie is more focused about the Fatal Five, as well as the 
Green Lantern. And no, it's not Kyle Rayner or Hal Jordan or the other guy. Now it's a um, Jessica Cruz. Now, I don't think, I, I guess I haven't been following Green Lantern for a while. I, had, I don't really remember Green Lantern being a girl. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but what I like about this Grand Green Lantern is like she's kind of a, a novice, a neophyte, if you will. She's kind of unsure of herself. She's got a little bit of, I guess you could call it social anxiety, doesn't like to leave the house. So it's interesting that like you're able to wield this tool of like unimaginable power and can cause destruction, but you you lack the confidence within yourself to kind of bring out the power because I think with the, the, the thing with the rings, like I, I don't follow it too much. So anybody who knows more, you can comment down below with the thing with the rings is it's kind of based on the user or the wear, like the more confident you are, the more imaginative you are, the more powerful the ring is. So I think the, the plot of the movie was like, okay, it's not the most original, but it pushes the, the scenes forward. And there's a lot of action scenes and Kevin Conroy always kills it as Batman. All the other characters are in there. They have their moments to shine. The villains, they're not just like randomly just destroying for no reason. They have their own purpose or inner motivations to be doing what they're doing. So, and it all ends with a climax, which kind of leaves most of the, in most of these movies, everything is fine and there's no consequences. But in this movie, there's different consequences and I think the way that they presented it and handled it was very honorable and I would say lives up to the the brand or the legacy, if you will. So how would I rate the movie? I think the movie is probably like a, above average fare. Uh, maybe like a 7, 7.5. Definitely if you're a DC fan, I would definitely say rent or buy it. And especially if you kind of want to watch a movie that's more, that's less focused on the main guy, such as Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman. So yeah, that's about it. Hopefully I haven't borne you to tears with my review. And if you like what you see, or if you don't, please like, comment, subscribe down below. I'm going to try to be more consistent with it, churns out some videos once every week. Well, anyways, until the next video, peace. You all right, son? We need to know what he knows. He doesn't even know what he knows. We've come to the right place, Superman. He claims he's from the 31st century. I'm Jessica. Everyone knows Limelight. The Fatal Five are coming! Well, well, ye old Justice League. I didn't know you had powers, Thomas. Metropolis will be by the first of your cities to be flattened. Or hand over the lantern. We don't negotiate with terrorists, even the 31st century kind. We stop our enemies before they even start. No one's responding to our call. I heard you were grabby. Uh, uh.